Hey, my name is Michaela, aka OK Gaming, aka Mickey, Okayla, whatever you wanna call me. To all my new viewers, subscribe if you're not already. Become a part of the gang squad. I don't know what I'm gonna call you guys yet, but this is our sim. The before, if you will. <laughs> I know by the title you're looking at me like, what? Excuse me? Base game daddy. You're already starting off with CC too, but what are you doing? First of all, she I put CC on her face, like the skin details, just to see like what type of eyes I want to give her, eyebrows, you know, same situation. I change it all out in the end. I have like a weird way of translating things from like CC to base game, you know, like if I want this type of look, I'll look for it in CC and then like go find something in the base game to match. But anyway, I'm tired of um, explaining myself. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a sim today that's base game for all of my vanilla players out there because I know that not everybody has the same CC and I'm not gonna be the one to, you know, go against the CC creator's rules and just post links because I want them to actually get their revenue for it. They they need their money too, girl. They got bills just like the rest of us. So I just I just wanna be fair in that way. But I can actually give you guys my Pinterest though my pinterest my tumblr i'll put those down below so that y'all can find my cc and like what custom content i use in the future because this video of course is vanilla or base game for my um vanilla players out there or you know just for people who can't really like afford to have a lot of cc on your pc because I, for one, used to be that type of simmer that wanted hella CC, but my computer could not handle it. Like, CC is free. If you know, like, if you're a simmer, then you know that custom content doesn't cost money. It's just, you go download it and you're like, you're actually paying the creator of the custom content through ads instead of paying it through, like, money. So just think about it like that. In my future videos, we can definitely go CC shopping together because I, for one, need to get some new CC for my male sims because females, they'll have all the makeup in the world, but the males won't even have hair. But like, <laughs> I'm done talking about my custom content because this is a CC free video. But I just want to show you guys that I'm still able to create a bad bit with no custom content or very little custom content because she does have CC eyes, but I just can't change it. This the default eyes, you know, but I mean, actually her eyes are customizable, but I just really fucking dig these eyes. Like I'm not changing these to the base game eyes. I'm sorry. They're just so ugly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done roasting the sim. I just think that she's turning out really cute. Um, I struggled finding a name for her in the end, but um, as you will see in the future. But I think you guys will really like how she turned out. She's pretty dope. I like, I really like her personality. She will be showing up in a few episodes of Teen Pregnancy Challenge in the future. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you should go to my channel and watch those videos as well. Cause that's a dope LP in its own. Like that's gonna be a, a really nice story. And I can't wait to start that let's play. So yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to my channel and watch it. Cause it's gonna be good, I promise you. You can really see how much I go back and forth when it comes to <laughs> tweaking her facial structure. Like I really, there is no such thing as perfect, but I really try to perfect, you know, my, my sims. Like I wanna make them in unique ways that I find cute. But yeah, I don't normally shape my sims like this. I kept messing around with her skin tone throughout this, trying to see if I wanted her more tan, like on the tanner side or on the more pale side, because I don't know, just didn't know what type of um, skin tone I wanted to give her. I try to make all my sims pretty diverse and unique in their own way. So if that means like light eyes on Asians or freckles, like I really like that look, just something that's out of the box, you know? So just so y'all can get a feel for me and my sins and what I'm gonna be showing you guys in the future, my let's plays, y'all will know my style. Now I'm just picking a hair that I can just throw on her while I do her face. I'm just messing around with her look right now, actually. I'm not really just doing anything specific. I'm just trying to see what she looks best with.
really about to start just messing around with a lot of the base game makeup just threw her hair back because i really just wanted to get everything out of her face and also i realized i still have on cc highlight it's just you know so i can get a feel of what she would look like when i download her back into my game and put on cc what i do boo i don't ever really just play my game vanilla so i'm putting her on the gallery like this for you guys and um you know base game for you guys and then for me i might put on cc you know like how you might do once you get her into your game so that she's not missing things when you download her into your game so i know that matt cosmetics recently did a collaboration with ea or not recently but you know like a few months ago and i just wanted to test out a few of the swatches in the game because i'm a makeup artist myself and i actually really wanted to work with one of the matte counters when i was younger you know i didn't have retail experience <laughs> but yeah i love the brand been using their makeup for a long time they kind of popped off they kind of did their thing you know a lot of it is subjective of course like very out there not everyday makeup but girl i can appreciate a wild look every now and then yeah ea needed max help because like they really did do their thing and i'm really proud of them for creating lip colors and like lip shades that are meant for any skin tone or any shade they didn't keep it limited let me just say that mac really did their thing they really are very inclusive and i appreciate that so yeah i i like i enjoy the mac makeup in the game but really right here i'm just like experimenting with a lot of the makeup because I never really mess with EA makeup or like base game makeup just because it's not the smoothest. The blending is not the best. It depending on like what color swatch you use, it doesn't work for all skin tones. And a reason why I don't use a lot of base game eye colors or skin tones or like skin textures is because of the lack of undertones and just color choices in general in the base game. It's just like honestly sad as fuck. They need to fix that. Um, so I'm making an Asian beauty today. I would be making my chocolate brown batty, you know, but they need to fix those base game colors. Until EA focuses on the base game skin tones and undertones and like focusing on really making them non, not patchy and like texture, weird fabric texture looking shit you know and even when they do if they do fix the skin tones i'd still use custom content in my game just because it adds extra it just fulfills this urge of like shopping and like a shopaholic trait that i have shopping desires my needs And I'm sure that you guys have custom content too, so I'm sure y'all will put it on The Sim as well and, you know, turn my creation into something that, like, you can make fit in your game, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, everybody's unique and beautiful in their own way, but in everybody else's game, they have a certain, like, style. And you can tell different Simmers have different styles. And that's all good. Like, she doesn't have to be perfect for your game. You can tweak her in different ways that you want her to fit into your game better i don't fucking know i think that everybody should be accepted but this world ain't that liberal um so i guess yeah just do what you want to do if you watch the whole video through and you didn't skip to the end to see what she looks like then put an emoji in the comments like the monkey like covering its eyes or something in the comments just just to let me know that you will real one okay <laughs> and if you subscribe then i thank you so much personally thank you welcome to the family and i hope that you enjoyed the video hope you enjoy more to come and yeah hope you guys have a great day or night i really just made her like a random name so you guys can change her name up whatever have fun with her that sounds so fucking nasty but anyway <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video it'll probably either be a cc shopping haul or my sim self create a sim whatever something like that or another episode of teen pregnancy challenge oh, oh yeah no photoshop bitch <laughs> see you guys in my next one bye